them get to it, you know, them I read now. Yeah. So they decided, okay, we are going to decide what they read. So mm -hmm. this is where they came in with the Bible and made sure mm -hmm. that the first set of things we are reading is about mm -hmm. Jesus. That's correct. So now, mm -hmm. yeah. think about this. Why would somebody that was chopping off your hand a few weeks ago, you mm -hmm. your ball, Cut off your ears, cut off That's your right. wood, catch your front of fire. All of a sudden, I give you something to make you stronger spiritually. Giving you knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That can't make sense. Like, yeah. why, why, why is Jesus the only thing them give you free? Exactly. And then try and tell you he died for you. He died for but you. I don't know him. What sins if you were what sins did you come with if he died for your sins and you have not sinned yet against anything if you are born clean and pure so where no, but them tell us you're born in a sin and an iniquity oh mm -hmm. oh exactly oh all right look we got road terms because we like speak road terms sadiki snowman big of yourself canada finest mm -hmm. um in the same breath them tell us you're born in a sin and iniquity we were born filthy. And them say, Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. Are you, this this one of me are saying to me. Are you a saying to me? Mm. This is the guidelines by which them are telling us so if you love Jesus and give Jesus a soul. Them say, Jesus died on the cross for yeah. All mm -hmm. our sins. What does all mean? Every, every, and yeah. So everyone. that means you can't have no more sin. Because Jesus mm -hmm. dead and cleared yeah. the dead. So, oh, oh, in two days, day and age, as far as 2021 mm -hmm. now, they're not going to mm -hmm. tell us. Eh, Repent of your sins <laughs> if you want to know God. If you want God to die. we sin your yeah. about then. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense. So if it me doesn't that, make sense. If you pay me that already. Oh my way be. Yeah. And even um as a baptized, so called baptized person, if you sinned less as a child, what are you still repenting for? If you're now baptized, so every time you go to church each week and yet you're baptized, you're cleansed, you're you're following the way of the Lord. Why are you always asking for forgiveness? You wouldn't do that on normal terms. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And most of us look like we're weird because we're the odd ones out, but we know what we're talking about because we're the it's it's the minority that think well. So all right, all right. Uh, open new sins. Well, well, well. Somebody just say you're off a new sins. Wait, may I add that to the line? Well, okay. Hopefully she she come on. But sometimes them like okay. text and then them don't want to come on. Okay, we'll see. So okay, so but yeah, I mean, I got the courage to kind of speak out and head my own way and follow me. All right, me can't tell you something. You didn't know what say. You didn't know what say. Your mother, or your father, will bust your head with a jelly cutlass <laughs> because you know work with the Christianity thing. She declined. She declined. See me tell you. Oh, okay. All right, so um, she declared. So make we not waste time on that. Okay. Now that even makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, I find the stories of Christianity very weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like a reason, you know, because Christianity they always say, God can do anything in can do yeah. impossible which I yeah. agree with. Yes. But in the same breath, 
Christianity make God look like one big idiot. Right? Here, oh, Christianity disrespectful to God. Yeah. You know the sto story of Noah and the ark, right? Yes. So be a spot the Bible. Um, hold on, let me see how we want to join the life. Let me see how we want to join. If nobody, mm -hmm. I'm going to accept this. So right. be a spot the Bible itself, right? The Bible yeah. says, the Lord did upset with, with, um, yep. Up, you know. Yo, put up. What's going on? You? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, break up, brother. Yeah, break up. Huh? Yeah, break up, bud. Mm. Yeah, break up, bud. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go run some Wi Fi. Go run some Wi Fi and come over. Come and see Wi Fi, man. You know, yeah, here. But, uh. but probably to your outside in some bush or something. It a, it a stick, uh. stick every minute. I don't know how I go. Uh, uh. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, Empress, as I was saying about now and the uh, yeah. Obviously, based on the story, them say people are going bad for earth. There's be a evil, nobody not listen, nobody not obedient to the Almighty. So, the Almighty decides, say, he might go cleanse the earth of all wrongdoing and evil doers. See? Mm -hmm. So, yes, based on that, the Almighty has sent flood to submerge the earth, right? Yes, that's what the story says, right. Mm -hmm. In the same story, when me I read the story, you know, a lot of Christians read the story and play blind and dumb and deaf to what the story has said. Now the story yeah. is saying that the Almighty God ordered Noah to take two of each kind, good mm -hmm. and bad. No, why the fuck would God Want to kill off the whole earth to mm. cleanse the earth of bad and evil and tell Noah say they see of two of each kind, good yeah, and exactly. bad. That's what I'm bad, saying. Bad. No, because you wouldn't have to carry the bad with you to so create then, more no, bad where you're going. As according to Christianity. <laughs> It doesn't make sense, and it never made sense. I always questioned this stuff, even when I was eight years old, and they thought I was really crazy. No, then, mm. then, 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 logically, if, if God had go to the extreme, you know, to set him about to yeah. flood and kill off everything, you know, See? yeah, that means uh, God's supposed to tell Noah, say, You are Noah, take two of every kind good man. And woman, mm. male and female, yeah. not good it's and bad. Left in bad, men then John and dead. That's who should be left behind because the world is behaving so bad. Then that make God so, cleanse the place, not first place. That, that's what I question. So, oh, why God fear, you know, our we see a good and bad if they are cleansed, you and bad. What exactly. Yeah, I think a lot, I don't know. All right. A lot of people are, are brain, brainwashed so easily. And I can't understand how people can live all their life being brainwashed. Like over every little thing that comes. Even when I see pastors who say, I can do this, I can do that. And you see them kicking people, stamping on people, walking all over their bellies, spitting on them. I don't understand. Like, even if you believe in certain things, how do you get to that extreme where you can that, allow somebody to abuse you? Christian, something confusing, but because of them, same man Very. no image or idol worship. Yeah. So you're not supposed to have no pastor kick you, a step by you, a spit by you, beat your belt. Like, go beat your mother. You must be crazy. Like, chill. <laughs> To all that brain yeah. you have kids? Yes. How much kids do you have? 
they have grown now. So eight, that's what, one is 16. No, 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. So you had six and obtained your two kids, right? Exactly. Yeah. Do you have any knowledge of anybody who have kids without using sperm and egg? No, it's it's not possible. Okay. Then you don't find it weird that all Christians, male and female, believe so. Yeah. Mary never had sex. But got pregnant and had birth to a boy, but never had sex. That, 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 not as a woman who gave birth and know the process of getting pregnant. That, that, oh that's all the madness there. You know, even that story there, I don't understand how they even started to teach. Well, I understand the brainwashing and the programming from when you're in school, you know, nursery and primary, they make you do the Mary and Joseph act and all that. Just be honest with the children. They had sex. She had sex with someone. She <laughs> had to. She got pregnant. She had to. Because <laughs> your parents are still going to have to. Exp I don't know why they even bothered with that story. Because your parents are still going to have to acknowledge and understand that whether you're married or not, you got pregnant through having sex. So even if you're trying to preach Christianity, how many pregnant girls are at church? You know? Right. So why not just start with the truth? Yeah, didn't know what I said. I think this is my theory, it's not a fact. I think yeah. pastors and these some mm -hmm. of these men of them so called say a great man who read certain part of the Bible. Yeah. They were mm -hmm. pedophiles and that was a way of escaping judgment. Them just tell life on yeah. God. Yeah man, God pass over the host of our breeder. Like what? are you fucking for real? You say, you're really saying that better. somebody with sense? Like me, you have a, a IQ, like, you don't you have a high IQ. God pass over the old stuff and breathe the girl. Yeah, it's common sense. At age 13, <laughs> God, we build 7 billion people in our world. This I yeah. just pass over our old stuff and impregnate one 13 year old girl. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, the age as well. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All the females are God himself created. Him choose an underage girl to breed. Yeah. That's, that's how disrespectful yeah. Christianity is to God. Yeah. Next I, thing, I totally agree. Next thing as a female, because you're a female and I'm glad you're on here today, because usually mm -hmm. I'm speaking by myself and I don't yeah. think some people accept me speaking a certain way which is a female right. situation so i'm very right. glad that you are here so when i talk you can give me a perspective as a female and as a mother yeah first thing i'm gonna ask you is the rib a reproductive organ no so, it, so when christians put out a story that women him from man a rib and then Christian walk and project a story and force it into the minds of people. Does that make mm -hmm. any sense to you? No, it doesn't. And also, I was going to say, for sorry, before I forget, when you see biblical films, that's another thing that creeped me out as a child. Any film to do with Jesus. You always see lots of women around and there's a lot of like demonic, satanic, slow motion of, you know, like that whole seductiveness, which is very like, as I said, demonic. And then you always see that um, in their action, there always comes a sex scene, always, in all the Jesus films. And all the sex scenes, they all... Um, have multiple sexual people. Lesbians, so, be a man, be a man a with 20, exactly. I was trying, yeah, <laughs> about 20, 30 people. And all the even if they say it's all the maids, you're still trying to create the narrative. Yeah, they might promote Argy, they might promote demonic yeah. behavior. 
And that's yeah, what so, Christianity has been doing. Thank you. That's, that's what it. makes people feel like it's okay. Because you find that a lot of what's going on, you ask somebody, why did you rape this person? Or why did you choose to um, be a pedophile? They always say, I grew up in a Christian background. It's never, ever the child of the parents who don't even believe in God. Never. So it's actually, the, as I said, the, the electronic brainwashing from the beginning, you know, seeing these things just replay in their mind that it's okay. So when we're looking at them like they're mad, they're not mad. It was filtered through into them from a young age. Because if I didn't kind of stop my, I'm going to say this, I have to be honest, yeah? I was into certain things once upon a time, right? And then I started listening to you, as I said, seriously. And I said, he's burning out this, he's burning out that. And we used to think guys like girls and girls doing things together. So when you're trying to please your husband and do certain things, you're thinking it's okay because you're pleasing your husband. But your husband so is a devil. But that's what I'm saying. And then you realize he was taught the same thing, mm -hmm. that it's okay because in all these Christianity stuff, you see a woman and a woman. You see the women pleasing each other before they please that man. You see all that. And I started to look sideways and say, hold on a minute. Listening to what you're saying. Looking at it another way. This ain't right. You know, so a lot of things started to make more sense. And I was like, looking at what I was thinking before, before I thought it was okay. There's so many things I started questioning. But yes, if I didn't stop then, all those things would have spun around and continued. And it would have gotten to a different extreme. And then it will get to whatever we're going to get to. So you are naturally gone, going from level to level to level to your upper level that you cannot come down from. And, and, and that's and, how and people, are created. people don't understand that um, you attract energy by your actions. So yes. you can't say me not taking on a tree somewhere a girl is sleeping in a girl. Me and you are on the same level where you are there. Because you are attracting the demon forces. Because that kind of behavior projects that spiritual energy. Same like a man that just get up and kill innocent people. He attracts that kind of energy. Your behavior attracts your energy. That's why I stay away from certain things. I'm a stay away from That's certain things. Energy. As much as we can. So, you can't tell me, say, you get up, and you say you love God. But it's evident that, obviously, God not into the same sex. But at that, you do. And then you get up, and you don't do that. I say you love God. Like, no for the girl, let me see by WhatsApp and Instagram. Then put up the most God quote. Oh God, I am thankful for today and my God is wonderful and my God is amazing. When I check them life and them and I girl. I'm not God a power you, my girl. And the dark forces are power you till it train it till it drop you. Yeah. yeah, because the bad will always be happy to lift you up because that's the hand that will feed you the most. So not for them not know. And enough of them don't know how long the rope called time is. See? So a lot of them, in the moment, living the dirty life, them get money, them can buy a nice car, them live in a nice apartment, get to them, and they come in, they come in, they come. Um, cause, because them brain limited, them feel like, say, once them have money, and them have this nice car, and them live in this nice place, they are blessed. You're blessed by who? I'm saying, oh, Allah. Because the devil is the ruler of money and material. Because material things are not produced by God. That's correct. But we are driving one fat convertible Benz and you can do the finger and the you by the latest parts here. Those are not amenities given by God. You know? Righteous people obtain money and these things by doing righteousness and the Almighty provides so you can survive. If you notice, 99% of the righteous people, them, 
you wonder how they survive. Because they don't yeah. the bulk of riches, but God make sure them go through life and survive. That's correct. You yeah, understand? You always pulled through. But the way evil people, them have crazy money. Look how much house Pastor Smith have. Look how much mm -hmm. money him have could have buy you better man to be a thing. But at the same time, he got um, whether him dead or not, he must vanish. All power, all power is gone. Because no matter where him they are, I, him can't feel comfortable like when him they are in church. So your power has been taken away. You can't go back and live in a none of them house there with Satan gear. You can't drive back none of them car there with Satan gear. You, you mash up. That's right. Yeah, he's been stripped. He's been stripped of everything, including your presence. Because he cannot surface back as who he is. Yeah. So you lose. So you get a good run from the devil. In a material yeah. world, you know what I'm saying? So, in a material world, you get a good run. And all of who they get drawn in by the material, last now and upon, what am I going to do? That's everything. Yeah. But you already sell your soul. Can you go plunge yourself yeah. in part of an organization where the next back. just strive after the Almighty, the true and the, that's why you hear them say the true and living God. Remember, you have some people that just say God in it. You have to say the true and... Listen, I don't think people understand when they say there are many gods. Mm -hmm. So no, because you are a sector of people, I say, praise God. You jump up and say, yeah, man, I, am I God in my No. Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> the word God is a widely used word. That's why you can't have some shutter now. The man we are supplied them with gun and money. Them say me God. Mm. Yeah, they're easy to praise those. those when the man we are supplied them with gun and money, say, oh, why oh, you gonna kill mm. anything you see around and lay in them? Them say yes, my God. Because to him, that's right. to him. That's his God. Even God. You can't get up and say. Him wrong to say what he must say. That's correct. We now praise who him are praise, but that is his God. So when you hear people mm -hmm. say, them are praise God and God do this for them and God do that for them. Them know what they are talking about. And the correct. same thing where we attack. Exactly. That's why I mean mm -hmm. it. Christians and Christianity don't serve the same God that we serve. Because the God that we serve, the God that we serve, not inspire me to go rape a little boy. The God that we yeah. love and serve, not inspire me to rape a little girl. The God that we love and me, Prince, not give me that courage and that bravery that we kidnap somebody, pick me, and go cut out them arc and I sell it. So me That's and right. them now have the same God. My God with me, sir, would not give me the mindset and the art and courage like to bam out Black Wall Street and kill almost thousand people. No. Christian logo. And say religious. Christianity logo is the cross. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Klux clan. Logo is the cross. Yeah. Why? I want to be a part of an organization that shares the same logo as the exactly. movement that has done the most evil to me and my people. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? It's wrong. Oh, and that, oh it's that's not it. a sense. Like, whoa. Yeah, I totally agree. And that's something I was always saying. Representation of the cross is not what you make it. It's what you're representing, full stop. And just as you say, we can't all wear a cross and say, yeah, 
This is the good one. This is the bad one. It looks the same. It's the same. We know where the devil came from. We know. And we know what the devil's work is. And everybody right now is getting humiliated and exposed. And people are still asleep. People need to wake up. I have a mask. Since we are the subject of logo and identification and association. Yeah. Can you get a go get a uniform to the British police or Interpol, put it on and walk about and do what you feel like? Can you do that? No. Why? Because you are not a part of their organization, right? That's right. Okay. So if our Christian is going to tell that then we wear the cross for them one purpose, you know what I mean, the sense. Once you wear the cross, you have to be aligned with the purpose of the cross. Right? So no. One second. One second. Sorry. My phone. Okay, yeah. Take it. It's yeah, sorry about that. When, when somebody says, I am a Christian, you can't tell me, say, I'm a Christian based by your thing. You accept this movement because you're in line with the purpose of this organization. So, yes. when Christian are reason with me, they're not reason with somebody illiterate. Because a guideline is set for Christianity. So the scriptures cannot be read to your audience as a Christian preacher. Exactly. Certain things you cannot tell your audience. You understand what I'm saying? So you are a part of a gang, a movement, an organization, which was created before you were born. And the fundamentals of these organizations are upheld through generations and generations. So whether you want to get tricked and go in there, you are now mm -hmm. a part of it. Yeah. Exactly. You're sworn in You're as well. You're sworn in as a part of that. You take the dip in the water and say, no, you give your soul to this organization. Exactly. That's why the followers and members of Pastor Street Church give up themselves because they're submitted via spirit to a demonic organization. Christianity okay. is a demonic organization that have the people under spell. How did yeah. Christianity get so powerful? Because I don't think Christians ask these questions. Then they say the answer. How did my religion or organization become the most powerful one out of all of them? Of course. Them now say they're gonna ask that. Thing. Them now say my research how oh, we gain the first leg of power as Christians. Mm -hmm. Obviously it never did so big. Mm -hmm. You see if them did do that? They would have found out that everywhere where Christian have power over was gained by murder and mayhem. That's correct. That it wasn't gained by people. The spirit come tell the people themselves to join Christianity. No. People were slaughtered and murdered. Kings were overthrown. Leaders were killed. And the followers were yep. forced to accept this movement. Because many people are calling it religion. Yeah. Christianity is not a religion. It's a gang. Yeah. Now, when them take over a country via murder and mayhem and, and genocide, they implement rules which are now today called laws or constitutions. So that who them left and when they're dead, I feel live by it. When they pick me ban. Them have to live by it. When them pick me, pick me, pick me by them have to live by it. Why mm -hmm. you think the UK is the United Nations world police? Because a lot of people don't understand this part. Understand so I'm going to exactly. prove this to them that religion is nothing but a gang. I mean, Christianity yeah. is nothing but a big old gang. 
but it is a big gang and it's a ring so the ring piece it's, it's pieces are, to yeah. that one ring. so it is you and it's the world police meaning if you have u.s army if you have jamaica army eat the army oh shit the live i got done we have got to that conversation there next day but that's just okay. one of the people that know me i have nothing to do with christianity I love me. I don't want to pump it. I don't want to preach to me. I don't want to preach. I agree. I agree. I want to see a fire from a pit in them because he's a madman.